get into that, but like, me just not give a fuck. Me tell any man go suck them mother. If if it forward, whisper with them with him. Me go tell you go suck your mother mentally. So uh, everybody, you want me when me feel for understand. Me never want to talk on this for too long. Everybody is a bad man in that music. Like I don't understand this rascal okay. than every man. Me just never get a point. So me always wonder. So the same way, oh, you have the original my ear friend, my brother and kill like, Why not brother and kill friend? Me just never get it. It just it just stupid to me. That's why I stay away from people and me no mix it. But the point is. Then Tommy Lee have a different bumper ass clock presence on stage. When he walk on stage, it's a different presence. Father of that luck. As you know, I say, Holy God, it's like a different blood clot vibe. It's like, me I tell a man the other day, like, when you think about alkaline, right? The man enter the game, forward in the music, find song after song after song. I the only man missing the music, but really, you know. The man dead there ain't really see him, you know. Like, we know him, you know, and you know the man, you know. But it's like, you don't see the man, in you know, the brother. So, like, when you hear him, you have to just blood clad. Yo, it's just, I just alkaline. You get what I say? Musically, the man just, we don't know how the fuck him create that, that um, thing. But it works for him, you fuck. That's all I mean. You know. Him and one next one, we just have that blood clad thing, the way. You just, you don't see the man. But like, you just have to be, it doesn't even matter if you don't like the man, you just have to just bounce. <laughs> you have to bounce. You can't bounce. You have to just bounce. And that's why I tell a man to like, I like how oh, dance all have become like, a, um, it become, for, for me now, like, for grow and like understand dance and music and like really pay attention to it now, I feel like with, with understanding, I love the movement of it because I feel like there's a shift in music where it seems like hip hop. Like if you if you if you if you think about it, I am me from New York, right? So me's a New York, me's a New York based dancer artist. That's why every time me drop a song we hit, uno I play a role a part of history because no people don't really pay attention or really realize what I do. I am doing dancehall music from America. Like, this is not fucking easy. Like, people, 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 people might think, say, oh, you in America, it's easier. That shit is fucking hard. You try to compete with everybody when they're down in the Bumbuckland melting pot of dancehall and you depend the fucking total opposite side from it. You know? And still I compete at the highest level, you know. You understand? Because obviously we we, we are gonna talk about this a million times. Create don't make it enough glory. Like me knowing my art say there's certain things that me contribute to musically where me not get not true justice for. But why the fuck will I sit around and make that bother me or think about that? Somebody said it's not harder. Alright, let me tell you why it's harder. Cause I wanna come like an fucking either. Anybody who said dance all music from America is not harder, he's a fucking fool. And the reason I say he's a fucking fool, even though he have your own opinion, but I'm going to tell somebody that do it. Let me explain to you why it's fucking harder. Rule number first, I'm going to tell you why it's harder for me on a different level. One, nobody has to know it wasn't a fucking juggling rhythm. That was a single. That's first thing first. Let's get that the fucking right. When nobody else know came out, that shit was a fucking single. Not a juggling, not a bumbo clad easy way in where the song drop and it depends on a rhythm with some other art artists. So we are gonna play the blood clad, the song is kind of bad. That wasn't. Brother, like, if you wanna under. Listen, me need to do a blood clad documentary on this because it's serious. Yo, it took me three years. Forget nobody has to know for you guys for love that song that know who me is. Three fucking years. Like, let's be real. The song came out 2013 and the song officially hit on radio 2015. So, we just want to get that out of your head. Secondly, when we come again with the next song, Buy Where You Want Buy, Fly Where You Want, it was a juggling up here that done by the same producer that does nobody have to know. And I had to take that song from Bumbo Cloud Scratch. Three years after nobody have to know, hit it up. Because I was going through the whole is a one hit wonder face. Not realizing that people not realizing that yo, this motherfucker you live in America. Man. So then you have to take a next song from scratch. Do it again.
and still I get the stigma say I have one it because me is not amongst everybody in Jamaica way they on the on stage, they on the up live, they on the RE TV they on the yo I've never done a show in Jamaica till this fucking day I swear to God anybody who ever see me on a show in Jamaica more you tell me I've passed through a show where it's like um, Massacre perform and Massacre call me out and I go up on stage yes but I've never been on a fucking bill with my face on a fly as a cranium live in concert in Jamaica. Never. And you have to understand, say, that shit early in my career was very hard because me know where me worth and me know where me go bring for a show. But because the song them never bigger Jamaica at the time, why the fuck we are booking for? Which is understandable. Which you cannot come, you, you cannot cause a, a promoter because a promoter know. What pull crowd and a promoter know what I go give him the look what he might look for. Just as much as me know where the fuck me worth and what me keep wrapped in on stage. So it was a a, 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 a few way street where them know where them worth and me know the fuck me worth. So oh, it's a bike brand, I'm gonna like when bike bike people ride past. God. Anyways. So back to the point. So as I was saying now, so before me start get confident to find big song like because when you feel understanding like me have some big bumbo clear record, you know. Don't get it fucked up, you know. Like I can go in front of an American crowd perform, them know at least three cranium song. Me can't go in front of a dance hall crowd, them know cranium song them. Me can go in Africa, them know cranium song them. So me is a man we get some song we go right across the fucking board. So not just dance a premium song in a my catalog for dance hall, but ask management. I cannot go to fucking and sing by when one by and get forward. It's not gonna fucking happen. We now go get the oh my god, you understand? We have to sing we can and can't believe and last night and nobody has to know and a song called Boom you probably never hear yet and like stamina, them know them song there. When me in the dance hall crowd now, can't believe it's a big song, but it's not a fucking buy where you want buy. You understand? It's not a history fit per se. It's not a justice style. You know, stamina is not a justice style. It's not a. It's not a last night. It's not a. It's not a. Um, it's not a weekend in that crowd. But if me the pan a show in Canada or Europe, I cannot sing. By where you want by certain places. You know, and then so then me start learn say me are giving you some free information. Then I start to learn say dance and music and hip hop and R and B music. Everything is a fucking market. So not because an artist bigger than you in the Caribbean necessarily means I'm bigger than you in a Europe because that's not fucking true. Because certain crowd where me perform for. Some artists cannot go around me no matter how much hits them want to fucking have. I know that for a fact. And then there are certain markets where me going at, I have to just humble myself and know, say, yo, you have some big song, but a damn money around over here. So, so it, 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 it. if you understand that, you will get your music easily with a fucking common sense and know how to market your thing and what work for you. Some people, they want to go in a certain market and feel like, say, because them big yes, so them can run through this so. You better sit the fuck down. Certain place where me go in the Caribbean island, rascal. Me have to bumble and humble myself and know say, yo, this is a different market. So here what I gotta do now. I gotta just hold my own and prefer my nice song them, sing for the girl them, and go about my business because I know say the market yeah, them love cream them, you know. So here we are going to put your hand on stage and you're going to enjoy yourself and you're going to make the people enjoy themselves and then you're going to go about your ass like business. When there's markets now, when we're in there, I'm going to say, yeah, my market business, now pussy can't talk to me. Like if we, for example, like if you take cranium and put me on stage in London with anybody, any rapper, any hip hop artist, any rapper, you put cranium on a stage with any rapper in London. Where the fuck you think? Me, I go over there and go like, I'm afraid. I'm not afraid because I know say, our market that Canada, same thing. America, same thing. Certain places because people get it fucked up. America, let me tell you something. I go to free gems. I go to free information. So anybody here who are artists or anything, 
uh, from my experience because some people act like them too young to learn I mean them too old to learn or them too big to learn just like how me that to learn the hard way I'm telling you I experienced music in the hardest form the reason why I said that is because I had one hit song for three fucking years no I had to be on stage for 30 minutes with one fucking song Seabird can confess to that um, Bully can confess to that and, and um management peer everybody i used to have one hit song for three fucking years so i had to be on stage for 30 minutes so i promote a pair for 30 minutes show i have one song this is why i say me me learn the hard way than the average person there are certain markets that is dance hall big new york boston kennedy cut jersey atlanta florida Big LA iffy. LA is this dance hall, but you know the bellies and they make the dance hall market, the dance hall market that it is. So now when you go to these markets, you can do what you do. Now people say for understand there's a market called Nashville, Kansas City, Ohio, um Seattle, um so Seattle, you know the Midwest. Let's just use the Midwest as for example, Alabama, them place there. Fortunately for me, me toured them places before. You understand? Me now come back and tell you say it was two thousand people, three thousand people. We do the markets there because those are markets that need to be um. Come now, please. One second, because me a turn. Me know I uh, touch my car right now. Because anybody touch my car, me have a white shirt. Me go drop. I me go spin. Me go bite. Me tongue. And me go spit blood all over. Me go crawl like me, like me really mash up so me can get some insurance money. But anyway. Back to the point. So there are certain markets that dancehall music is not as big as it is on the East Coast, which is the Midwest. No, some of them artists here now, including myself, can I say including me, coming not selfish, including us. What we need to understand is that you do 2,000, 3,000 people in the East Coast, you have to humble your bumbo cloud self and go to them small market, you have some 500 capacity, fill them out. And when you fill out those markets, I hope somebody has can record this. Um, I mean, I move it up. Um, you fill out those markets, and what that does is that you create a sense of demand for dancehall music because you show the power. Say, dancehall market, dancehall artists can pack a venue of 600, 700 people or more. If you get where I'm coming from. So now, when you do this small market as the bigger artist, what you do now, you start create a tunnel, a fucking lead for every other artist who's coming into the game. To literally, feel like literally have, we start infect those small market. You know, we become like a bum lad, cockroach. We just start, we just start, this is the start getting infected at us, we. You get where I come from? So you go to Nashville and you do a show and you pull out 500 people. People invest in what they can get money off of. You understand? So if me do me can make money off of selling cocaine, me I go sell cocaine. You understand? So if a promoter now come to a dance hall show, him never see before and say, Yeah, I got cranium here and him don't know who the fuck is cranium. Him come and him see it and him see the people them. What you do now is that you as the artist now you open their mind outside of just grass clad, hip hop or whatever my do. They must say, oh we can make some food bread off of dance or music. Okay, let's do this shit. So now him do it again. And what that does now is this, and this is very important. There's a lot of Caribbean people are in these small markets, but then their artist is not coming to that market. So promoters don't know say there's actually so much Caribbean people in that market because one thing about Caribbean people, we not go nowhere in a country place if like well and them police boy. Yeah, them not go nowhere in a place where them find country or them find boring. The only way them come out unless if it unless if it necessary. I them see say okay this is somewhere we can go. 
you know, because one thing about Caribbean people, them group up your fuck, so them got the same restaurant and them do the same thing over and over and over in this small market. I know because I've done this. I live in America for a very long fucking time. So these are these are the straight facts, brother. So it take them favorite artists them to do that. So the bigger your art, the bigger the artist is, the more effect them have of pulling out people who would have never come out of them house to come out of them yard. And then you'll be create a system because Marsha come out there and Marsha come meet Peter. And Peter and Marsha go school from, from back in the days. So Marsha now meet back to Peter and Peter and Marsha start talking. But yo, you know, sister, create them come over here. So, or that one they come, or that one they come. And then it become like a fucking tunnel. So it automatically become a bumbo cloud. Market for that. Set it. So now you create a tunnel for every bumbo cloud body can go in the, in the market. But because some artists think them too fucking big. Them cannot drop from a bumbo cloud $25,000 show to a um, $12,000 show because them feel like say you're too big for the collect at 12 grand. Not knowing say you contribute towards the genre itself. So that is my richest money figure, so I can't stop now. So that, that, is one of the, that, is, that is one of the big problems that I have. And that is one of the problems I face dance and music from being further. And next thing is, In the market that the, 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 the music is already as big as it is. This is where me find fuck up now upsetting. When you become an artist as a brand with a name. Anybody who is in New York ever come to a cranium show in New York who knows sees me keep my show. I keep my show in fucking Williamsburg. Brooklyn born and when we just bust we got SOBs in the city. Now one understand something. If you go fuck a girl for the first time and before she gave the pussy she got asked or something like me can't get a picture or me can't see her or whatever. You as a man now I go send a girl a picture. What you gonna do? You probably take 15 pictures because you know, make sure you get the angle right, you know. The girl have to see the right angle, you know. The point is presentation is fucking key. When in a bumbo cloud come from Jamaica, we come to fucking show in America. In the name of Jesus Christ, my glad to carry up now. Somebody please screen record this. Please, my big one. Please. When you fucking leave from Jamaica, we come America come profound. I'm going to use people as example, not people artist name, but I'm going to use some as example, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want nobody coming with him or something like that. When you come from Jamaica for the shows in America, in the fucking name of Jesus Christ, do, I beg you know, stop bringing the people then in a fucking hall, banquet hall, and they fuck with it. Bring the people them in a fucking venue. Please, my beg you know. Please. When you come from Jamaica to do a show in America, I ask you know, please go in a proper fucking venue and keep the after party in a banquet fucking hall. Because what you do now is you degrade the fucking thing. You understand? You make the thing look like some fucking joke. When you go in a rascal at certain venues to do certain show, you don't fuck up my thing and your thing. Because nobody now say, him different. A outsider go say it's a dancehall artist that. So they go put all away in the same fucking bracket. You get where I come from? So when you know a bumbo cloud do show, when you know come America, go in a proper fucking venue and stop going to a venue where people are choked from bumbo cloud weed and, and promote a cuss and tell us the police are come lock it up because of a black driveway and, and all them fuckery. Go in a proper fucking venue where me can bring my outside people them to come a venue where them now go feel like say them afraid or them now go feel like them uncomfortable. You think I come from? So go in a venue where people can come, media can come. You think a blood clan media, a big billboard or a big fucking feed or a big blood clan thing will come in an ass cloud. Um, fuck revenue.
You get where I come from? Put them in a proper venue. That's what we need. That's what, that's what, that's what the most important thing because there's a thing called database or whatever the word is. I don't remember the right word. Where you are put 2,000 people in a venue, but the real people that make it festival and them thing, they can't know because that, that fucking venue no and for them radar and for them list. So them can't see the dance hall artist pull crowd too. So when fucking festivals are keep, you know, seeing the dance hall artists on the festival because them can't see the real numbers them way. We are do. So if you want your thing to get bigger, broader, pan 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 level way, we, we are mixed with every rapper. Cause the thing is, you know, them pussy they no more than we, you know. Them boy they can't perform more than we. We don't give a fuck when nobody wants to say. Dance a lot is them, are some of the best performers them in the world. The right one them. And even if you can't perform that good, when we go past certain stage with them, the people there, them people look probably like we are God because they never see this yet. So, if you get past certain venues, I mean, if you get past certain, if you get past certain venues, it's like, um, I mean, get past certain festival, it boils down to numbers. So, them, them sitting up there and say, yo, Cranium can pull out 2,000 people, we should get them on this venue. Yeah, that's all festivals, bro. I'm not give a fuck when nobody wants it. That's all them. Them go off for numbers. Hard sale ticket. You must ticket to sell. If you put them in a certain bank with all the two man I keep with them fucking thing, you're not going to see it. Like, brother, we all know a thing. Dancehall culture a badness. Like, 90% of promoters in dancehall has always been gangsters. I see them show. Nothing wrong with give them a show. But give them a bum buckler after party show. You keep, this, you keep a fucking show from 9 o'clock, no, 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock. Then after party go. People want to party after a fucking show early night. If a show keep on a Friday, the show starts 7 o'clock, the show done 10 o'clock. You go at the blood clot thing. You see me? That's what I said. Um, Super Cat 1371. Not all artists can pull large crowds, so they have to go for the clubs. And that's if you was watching the interviews earlier, I said to you, I'm gonna say it again. The artists them that are pulling the right crowd that can pull a 750 and up. Those artists I'm talking to. Everybody knows that the younger artists them take time for build. We all go through the same process, whatever it is. What I'm saying to you is, the bigger the fucking artist is, the better the venue them need for going to, for support the movement of dance and music. That's what I'm saying. I am not talking about an artist who just now pulling no a crowd around. I, I am talking about an artist who is big enough to represent the culture big enough to do the right venues, them they need a proper venue. That's all I said. You feel me? So that's just my that's just my opinion on dance and music, and that's just what we feel like we need. Because yeah, we just want to see things bigger, brother. Next year we get a tie off. I think the business if we reshuffle and just like fix the proper way, I make no say yo, we can do some amazing things and be great because we are great. You know what I mean? We are great people. I feel like we are great audience. I feel like we have a vibe. I feel like we are number one. I feel like we are outstanding. And we just love it. Me just me just passionate about dance and music to the point where we just want the best for everybody. For all of it. I don't give a fuck who it is. If you don't like me, if I don't like it, it's fine. I don't feel like